Hey guys, and welcome back to the Panic Brothers. If you don't know who we are, my name is Simon, accompanied by my best friend here, Josue. We have a series here called Smash Casting. We've been doing it for a long time now because a lot of you, for some reason, really like it when we talk about anything remotely Smash related <laughs> as per our numbers on our podcast and YouTube. So we kind of went to this series to kind of just look at different little characters that we can be casted into the Smash Ultimate roster now that we have the second set of DLC coming in. And after our disappointment with Minecraft and Steve, we kind of want to talk about someone that we kind of wish would get in instead of someone Steve, like Steve. Steve wasn't that um, that disappointing. You're just mad. You're just uh, mad, dude. You're just mad. I, he looks terrible. <laughs> he looks terrible. You're just mad. I still haven't downloaded him, by the way. Have you? I haven't even bought Fighters Pass 2 yet. <laughs> I bought Fighters Pass 2, but I haven't turned on my Switch to Smash since Steve came out. Yeah, I see you constantly playing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, though. It's not me, it's my roommates. They have something to prove. Oh my god, dude. Anyway, um, today we're going to talk about Crash. And the reason why is because I think we're both in agreement. Crash is a phenomenal character we both really want to see in Smash Ultimate. And I feel like he's the type of character that many of us really want to see for a long time. So we've had characters come out like Byleth and Min Min and <laughs> Steve, but none of these characters have been somebody that we've really been earning for, like a Sora or a Crash. And Crash is one of those characters that we really, really have wanted since like the GameCube era, in my opinion. I don't know if Jose agrees with that sentiment, yeah. but I've wanted him for a long time. I haven't wanted him, but it's just one of those characters that if they ever announce him, I'll just say this yeah. feels right. Yeah, like this is, like, this, is this needed to happen. This is Naughty exactly. Dog's entry. Naughty Dog needs a representation in, in Smash Bros. I mean, seriously, they're one of the yeah. biggest video and, game companies. And they can't do Joel and, and the whole Last of Us crew. Like, that's just, that would be weird. It's weird. Yeah, it's really weird. I don't I don't think I want that. <laughs> I wouldn't play that. But Unless it's, you know, I feel like Jack it and needs Daxter. to be done. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Unless it's Jack and Daxter, but. Nah, yeah. But uh, even still, Jack and Daxter's kind of been dead. Yeah, that's not happening, guys. Yeah. yeah. The reason why I think Crash is so important is because they brought the series back. Like, they're legit trying to keep it alive. It's not like a one and done thing. And they came out with, uh, what was Crash it? Crash 4. Crash 4, right? That's the number? Yeah. That's the number why they're are at? You I couldn't remember. <laughs> I couldn't remember if it was 4 or 5. I really can't remember what number they're on four. right now. It's 4. four they yeah, retconned they, everything. Exactly. They, they did a whole Crash remix. Uh, not remix, but like. The remastered edition of all the old Crash games. I think a lot of people thought that was it. Like, all right, they're just doing that. But the fact that Crash 4 came out tells everybody, okay, we're still trying. We want Crash to be a, a household name again. And if that's the case, then Smash should definitely just pull that advantage and just be like, all right, he's back and he's relevant again. Yeah, not only that, but Toys, well, kudos to Bob because not only did they make a new Crash game, but it's actually a good Crash game. Yeah. Remember, like, Crash Twin Sanity and Crash like Mind Over Mutant and Crash uh just all of those PS2 games that it's it just always felt like a cousin of Crash, but it mm -hmm. didn't feel like Crash Bandicoot, like yeah, it just wasn't no. the same. So, my worry my worry though is see those mistakes made Crash for me and you. Like we know Crash for those dumb mistakes and those dumb spin-offs. We don't know Crash for Crash 4. And I think Naughty Dog and Crash in general, the Crash team, want to start from Crash 4. They don't want to go back, right? Well, yeah, it, 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 it's a, it's hard. It's a hard, like, conundrum, I feel like, because you can really pull a lot of assets from those spinoffs that can add to his moveset. Mm -hmm. um, and while I still think you can have a viable moveset with only Crash's 1 through 4, Mm -hmm. Like, it won't be as versatile if you ignore those games. But exactly. I also don't mind if you ignore those games either. No, <laughs> you know? I, I'm biased. I'm very biased because when I think of Crash, I think of those games. And if you add Crash to Smash, I want to see all the old weird shit they try to pull back in the day in this moveset. As like, huh, oh, remember these stupid little things? But I know the team so well, and they're not going to do that. <laughs> they're going to be like, no, this is Crash 4 Crash. This is the high yeah. death crash. We're not doing that bullshit. Yeah, Sakurai is definitely just gonna like. Nah. Like, who would definitely ignore all of those games? Be like, for insanity? 
the soundtrack the soundtrack's not even gonna recognize any of the games you know i you know what i feel like that's the only thing that maybe they have a representation like just soundtrack? one song from each of those games yeah like a soundtrack i don't think so i don't think so, I don't think so either but I, like, if there's anything that will get any representation it's probably that if that no that's true that's true but even still i don't think it's gonna happen just because i feel like they want to make sure it's just crash one above which always also worries me too because um there's something that kind of bothers me about the new crash um his voice acting is not oh. the same uh i i we grew up on the whoa yeah! and that's yeah. not a thing with the new crash and i feel like if that's not an ultimate i feel like i'm being robbed yeah <laughs> You mean like so? You, you want that sound effect every single time you die? Yes, every single time. I honestly, you feel die. like I honestly feel like you wouldn't even be all that mad if you die as Crash just because you heard that sound effect. Like every single time, I, you feel like that felt good. That felt. I'm getting three stocked and I'm like, God, oh, you know what? I have to, I have to have, I'm not mad. I got the whoa. <laughs> someone, someone online. Um, I was looking at research on people's opinions on Crash, and someone had a pretty good idea of what if we have an alt skin where it's retro crash and it's crash one two and three and the voice acting's different the movement looks a little like more like crash one two and three and then the the ba- the normal costume or the normal alt is crash four i don't mind that i don't mind that i, I don't very different characters i don't mind that but at the same time dude the difference i don't think is enough for them to do that Dude, if they put a Super Mario 64 alt, you would jizz. But they never would. They but never you would. Jizz, like, right? you like would think jizz. about it. There's never been Minecraft Steve. The issue with Minecraft Steve is just how the limitations surrounding it, and that you can't turn it into like a Smash Bros. style. Like every single character when they're lifted from their series, there's something uh-huh. about them that turns them Smashified. Like uh-huh. I don't know, like. They don't look exactly like their original character, but that's fine because they're in Smash Bros. And it's the Smash Bros. iteration of that character. Mm -hmm. Minecraft Steve, you couldn't do that. You Mm -hmm. can't do that. I know Sakurai was depressed making making Steve, bro. He was depressed. There's no creative freedom with Steve. There isn't. There isn't. There isn't. But but I'll raise this. What about uh, Little Mac? His wireframe got a a new look. Why can't you do a new look for Electro Crash? Our frame was just for 100 man me- melee, bro. Like, don't even like. <laughs> and then, and then Sakura was nice enough to be like, you know what, you can play as him too. I don't care. No, shut up. <laughs> I know. I think I'm on something, but continue. No, my thing is, it's just that like they would never. I feel like I feel like a Smash 64, like how it is in Odyssey, in Mario Odyssey, like having uh, an alt that looks like that. I don't think Sakura mm-hmm. would ever want that just because it doesn't mesh with the rest to look of the game no one looks like that no one what? and it just would no. and i feel like sakura but, personally um, would just be like like <laughs> like PTSD. he's having ptsd no, no what, if, like, what if and hear me out what if the alt was not a costume change but a voice change i really just want the wall dude i just want like the I, I, I just yeah but ike actually looks a little different he looks like younger. Well, yeah, but like that's the only character I can think of that every that alts have yes. actually changed voice actors. We need a alt where Crash Bandicoot's voice actor is different. And that's fine. I mean, I don't. Yeah, sure, dude. Like, <laughs> I I just wasn't expecting this conversation when we entered this. Like this topic. This was the number one thing on my mind when I thought about Crash and Smash. Not about the move set. I was thinking about how he would pronounce yeah. the alt. And everything else you don't really care like everything, everything else I, like I have i have more notes but this is not even the notes are not even near as important not not even near an iota of importance of him saying whoa you know what matters more to me what i don't know how they would include it in the moveset i'm sure maybe maybe like a down b where he smashes a crate and something different happens to him but when he crack oh. when he smashes the aku aku box <laughs> yeah. aku, 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 i can't do that sound effect aku, 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 that one matters more to me. That sound effect matters way more. Like, the, I know <laughs> that's, the a, wall. that's a pretty good cool concept because uh, he can also like get dynamite and hurt himself. Or yeah. TNT. Well, I thought he was just gonna like place it. Well, even though he doesn't, he never really places anything. I was thinking more so a box appears and he body slams it because he body slams boxes sometimes. So if he body slams the box. Oh. Then it's yeah. either dynamite, TNT, a normal box, wampa fruit, or uh, or aku aku. 
So you think the Aku Aku Mask would just give him like a free one hit? Like anybody who hits him, like it won't actually hit. It'll just be free. He gets a free hit. No, I think it has to be like time. I think it has to be like five seconds of like just. You know how um, Bench. I think that's even worse. You know how Bench Kazui has like three seconds of just invincibility when he goes to side B. It's like one of those. Yeah. I think it's like one of those. A move that like for like three seconds, like no one can hit you, and you're just like running through people. That's OD, man. Uh, that's Benjo, a lot. Benjo, that's... Kaz- Benjo Kazooie has it. I know. That's still no one likes it. Yeah, but I mean, it's still beatable. Like it, it, it's it's like you that's... have a second of delay before he goes, so everyone knows. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I think yeah. it's doable, but it's bullshit. But it's doable. Yeah, exactly. That's just the only thing. Like I'm like trying to think about the community. I don't I think thinking... anybody. What? I think everybody at first, if that was the case, be like, "Yo, Crash is everything." Then two days later, "Yo, I can't fuck this crash. character." Well, yeah. that's everybody when any any character comes on the game, any everyone's character. like, "Fuck this character." This, the character's the best of all time for the first two days, and then two days later, like, Yo. and then they're like, "Oh no, actually, he's trash." Yeah, let's go back to Pac-Man. I um, I'm more curious at how his uh, spin move would be. I was thinking like maybe you can hold down the A button like a jab, and he just does the twirl. Or that, yeah. or a forward smash, he twirls into a punch. Something where, like, that twirl needs to be a thing. You can't put Crash in without the spin. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. If there's, if there's no spin, I'm rioting, bro. Dude, just, if there's no <laughs> spin, Nintendo's lost everything. Everybody. Yeah. <laughs> it's the only attack. Like, it needs to be, really? like, a... Like, I can see, like, his down A being sort of... Being the slide, I guess. Um, yeah, the slide. I was thinking that, too. It has to be. But in terms of his forward, his... Forward I don't know what his... I don't know what his forward would be. That's the thing. He doesn't. Well, punch. I'm thinking like he can spin into a punch. Like I don't know. Like, but he doesn't spin. punch. But like they, it's just spin into a dog. Like I don't know. Like yeah. you have to get creative because like if you don't know. crash four alone, yeah, not that much. But there's a lot to do with crash four. That's the thing. Like that's oh, why God. it's so easy to do Imagine crash four. And obviously his like... up B, obviously his up B. We all know what the up B would be. It'd be the 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 the, uh, the crate what? that oh, I yeah, that for. Yeah. 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 But Pass. I mean, imagine, but imagine, bro, when you had more game. Imagine, like, like the what's it called the Rafa Cortex. Like, I don't know, adding some cool shit from that, bro. Uh, something like. It could be the bazooka, but I feel like the bazooka is more of a of a of a side B. Yeah, that's fine though. I'll take that. I'll take that. But I know that I can do it. But I'll take that. I'll take that. No, they, they would. They would. They would. You think they would? Yeah. I'm just. I'm just. Like I said, I'm just really wondering what the like. I can see like the down B being the the whatever like the crates. Aku aku yeah. I can see the regular. I don't even know what the regular B would be. Maybe eating Wampa fruit to store up for the bazooka. Or it could be the spin move too. The B move can just be the spin move in place. And his and his A is just what? It's just regular jabs, I guess. You, 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 seeing, seeing, <laughs> bro, Crash Bandicoot could do a jab, cross jab, just <laughs> makes me look, feel weird. No, honestly, I can see it. The thing is, though, it's like, well, listen, listen, man, Captain Falcon doesn't jab; he fucking races. Ness does not jab; he fucking uses magic. Dude, no, but they all uh, jab. Not, let's let's be real. Captain Falcon will not be in Smash Brothers if Smash Brothers was made today. They okay. literally had no Min-min. franchises Min-min. back in 1996. Min Min doesn't jab in arms. You don't jab, but she has a jab. Because it's a fighting game, also that makes exactly. more sense to me. No, Crash needs. No matter what, Crash is gonna get jabbed, dude. What else are you gonna do? Make him just stand there when you hit A. So let's say let's say Crash gets into Smash Brothers. Okay. This wouldn't be the first collaboration with Crash Bandicoot and Nintendo. Yeah, definitely not. No, but <laughs> no, 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 not like on Crash on GBA or anything. Oh. It's um, I'm not sure, but they actually had a crossover for sort of. With Skylanders. Oh like, yeah, you're right. Crash was in Skylanders, and so was Bowser and Donkey Kong. For Why some Bowser? reason, to this day that's still weird to me. Why Bowser and Donkey Kong? I don't know. But I'm just trying to say that the president, the precedence is there. <laughs> like this isn't completely <laughs> out of left field. If <laughs> Crash and Nintendo some do we do some weird collab. How weird would it be if they added Crash, but it wasn't Crash 4 or Crash 1, 2, 3, but it was Skylanders Crash? How much hate would Nintendo get? More hate if they also used the voice actor that they gave for Crash in the TV show. Did you know that he was in the TV show too? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They gave him an Australian accent? Mm-hmm, and it was fucking awkward as fuck. Dude, <laughs> if they brought that in, that would be so bad. No, yeah, that, that's it. That's it. Nintendo would get all the flack, bro. 
Like, that's it. There's no way that they would, I think. I think Sakurai has more respect than that. But, but even yes. Oh. Yeah. The only last real reason against inclusion for me, what? Crash, is that the roster for Smash Brothers Ultimate was decided years ago. Years. What? Remember? Um, yeah, but when were... the roster was decided, I thought it was up until the DLC. No, it was decided. Dude, there were conversations for Steve in, in Smash Ultimate back in 2015. Well, yeah, that's Steve, but I didn't know they had the whole roster completely. Like, okay, this DLC 1, this is you 2, this DLC 3. Yeah. I'm, I'm really? Very, I'm very confident that, that, that this roster I was thought... decided years ago. I thought they weren't even sure if they were going to do more than one DLC. And they just made DLC no two. Like, All right, let's start thinking of characters. Oh, that's so that's bullshit. There's no, no way I'm they, they honest, knew. I'm being honest. From they the jump, that. when Smash Ultimate first came out, I really thought they were like, okay, let's do Smash Ultimate and five DLC. And then when the DLC was coming out, I think that's when they realized, okay, let's do these characters for the first DLC, and then we can make a second one. I thought they just so had what? it so that like, like it was gonna be I don't know like Steve, like who are the the big five. That's, but right that's the thing. DLC? No, but but you're still you're still adding to my point because that's just a that's just extra thing deciding two fighters passes does not equate with deciding the final roster but that's but that is the final roster yeah the final roster is uh -huh. one thing deciding uh -huh. that and then deciding which characters go into which uh, which which characters with those final roster go into which fighters but, pass but that's what i mean thing. i thought it i thought it was more so i think there's like what 60 something in the base i want to say 62 70, maybe i think i believe it's 70 70 base I, I'm very confident it's 70, but I'm let's also, say, let's, let's I'm say also full of shit also, so I, I don't know. I thought it was more so they decided 70, and then like, all right, here is the five, I mean, the six we'll do for DLC 1, and then when they started doing DLC 1, they're like, okay, fuck it, let's do DLC 2 and add the characters. I didn't think they had fucking uh, 70 and DLC 1 and DLC 2 and potentially DLC 3 already planned. That's fucking crazy. No. I, I don't think that's, I, but that's, that's what I'm saying. I don't think that's how it went down. I think they just got the full roster of characters. And then oh. at that point, they just decided, okay, we can get these 70 done by the by the time of release. These mm -hmm. other characters that are already decided will have to go mm -hmm. get released as DLC. So you think everything's decided already? I, I believe it's been years already because as um, this, guy, too. this guy already stated, what? The Minecraft Steve was has been getting it has been talked about for inclusion in Smash since 2015. What about Byleth though? I feel like Byleth was a, like a, a recent addition because three houses came out and they're like, all right, let's do Byleth now. And there's no way they had oh, yeah, Byleth but... planned before Ultimate because three houses wasn't even done. But yeah, but it was still in development. They had to have been in development at that exact same time. So then you think they just decided three house rep? makes sense that makes sense definitely yeah definitely so then you don't um, think crash is in because of that so yeah because because i think i think at the time of the decision of the final roster crash was mm -hmm. still dead yeah dead. like i mm -hmm. don't even believe the the trilogy came out and if anything they probably were talking about that trilogy coming out but i i don't even think the the development the of crash 4 crash 4 was made until the success of the trilogy yeah so, so then you think at that point they had no idea? Yeah, exactly. I think it's just but one I of those things. But I still feel like I, I refuse to believe they're married to it. And I like to believe that when a new character comes up that's potential, Sakurai pushes for it. It's like, all right, I know we have a roster, but what if we add a couple more? I feel like there's no yeah. way, knowing Sakurai that he's committed, he's like, all right, no more. I think he still thinks we have room for more if we want. Anyways, I, I, I feel like that entire argument that I just made gets mm -hmm. shut down completely just by talking about i think my entire argument kind of gets shut down if you just talk about banjo like yeah no yeah if you actually mention banjo then that banjo was not a base roster bro he was not in the beginning at all yeah. bro that was nowhere near the front of their head yeah and if it, and if it was it wasn't because like his he, he's dead also i mean he's dead this franchise dead. so like yeah can, that's just going to show that like that doesn't affect their decision it's just more so like a, it's like a thought like just remember like crash was dead yeah when they decided this foster i believe yeah so i still think there's a chance though they, they might think about it but you have a good point i never thought of it like that that they already have other characters they're already thinking of and if they do then i doubt crash is gonna circum 
sorry, what's the word I'm looking for? Superimpose, I guess. He's gonna come okay. above anybody else. I think the other characters should definitely come over him. Yeah, and and it, and it it also gives me a reason. Another reason why I sort of feel that way is because like if that this roster was decided years ago was Min Min also. Yeah. Yeah. Like. They Min missed Min. the side of this roster. Like Min Min definitely feels Min like Min a definitely base. decided at base, yeah. Yes. And then when arms didn't do so hot. Yeah. Or like, okay, strategically this makes more sense if we release this as DLC, DLC. to sort of try to push sales of That's a good point. Arms. But would you put arms over crash? You know, in a in a business marketing decision for Nintendo, that's all it felt like. But not everything to do is business. I mean, look at Cloud. Not everything to do with business. Come on, man. Cloud has nothing to do with Nintendo. Yeah, but it's all... It's all... Every single character that's third party in Smash mm -hmm. is all business, bro. It's all business. Because they all receive a portion of that sale. Yeah, but at the same time, I still don't feel like it's all business. Sakurai, I think, has a huge part in it just being for the game and wants characters that represent video games, though. I, I feel like Steve, it... Minecraft Steve was all business, dude. No, Minecraft Steve is a huge gaming icon too, dude. It's not all. Business. Yeah, but I don't. You think Sakurai really wanted? No, Steve I don't think in. Sakurai wanted. But I, you can't lie that it's not. It's not all business, dude. Like, there's a lot of characters in there that have a lot of heart and put into them. Like, oh, this represents a huge oh, gaming icon. It's not definitely, all but business. those decisions I think are all motivated by business. You think like, Crash will be motivated? I, like, I think Sakurai. If Sakurai's favorite game growing up was. Bubble Blast, uh, whatever, like that, like... <laughs> That's like, not a gaming icon, though. Fuck that. Exactly. Not like, you know what I mean? Like, like you would definitely... I can see him 100% like putting that effort into it, but... <laughs> Come on. It has to work for the business, but I don't think the business is the ultimate uh, last reason, though. I, I stand by that. But, uh, yeah, I kind of agree with you on that one. But now that he said like that, I do think Crash is a significant less chance. Just like so th thanks for ruining that for me. Yeah, it just it's just all <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, man. It sucks, but like to me personally, everything was a business decision. That's why, like, if this was if this roster was decided years ago, then it all makes sense to me. Like, mm -hmm. like Min Min's inclusion would make like, would make sense if they decided it back in 2015 as opposed mm -hmm. to 2019 because mm -hmm. Arms is dead. It's dead. Completely unrelated though. You probably won't get Sora. Let's be oh, honest, if it's, biz if it's business driven, Disney ain't gonna budge, bro. Yeah, I know. I, I know. Anyway, guys, thanks for listening to us talk about uh -huh. <laughs> Crash Bandicoot potentially being in Smash. Let us know if we're wrong or right, and if you think he's gonna be in DLC too. I think there's still a slight chance, but honestly, I prefer to see a lot of other characters over that. I'd honestly even Disney prefer much. if you put in. Yida the, the, the Yeti from Twilight Princess in that little mansion. Remember that? Remember that segment? I'd rather you put even the Yeti over Crash, honestly. Man. Just any Zelda rep. Please put in his Zelda rep. I'm begging. Oh you. my god. It's not the only your only chance of that happening. Honestly, you have a much better chance of that happening now. In the middle of just like this <laughs> Breath of the Wild 2 hype. So maybe. Maybe. You have why, Agent Calamity. Why Yeti the Yeti though? Oh no, I don't know, bro. I I I, I don't agree with that one. I'm just I my my predictions of it being a Breath of the Wild character is so much higher now because yeah. of the all the Age of Calamity. At the Age yeah. of Calamity, that's what convinced me. Yeah. I was like, you're like, yeah. they're really going all in on the Breath of the Wild universe. Yeah. So, which is why I think our next up should be that. Anyway, uh, <laughs> thank you guys for listening. Uh, with the Panic Brothers as usual, you guys know where to find us: YouTube, Panic Brothers, our Twitch, Instagram, uh, Twitter, all Panic Brothers. Uh, listen to our podcast too, Panic Room. We have a couple episodes up right now talking about representation in media video games. And uh, until next time, we'll catch you guys later.